guys, welcome back to Rack of Lamb. So I'm actually in quite of a rush right now because we are heading over to my sister-in-law's for an early Thanksgiving dinner. Um, we are going to each bring over one side dish and catering the rest. And for the life of me, I could not decide what I was gonna make, so I did a quick Google search and stumbled upon Paula Dean's corn casserole, which seemed pretty straightforward. It only requires six ingredients. Um, so I'm gonna try to tackle that today. I'll share with you the entire process and the results, so if it all goes well, maybe you guys can consider making her corn casserole for Thanksgiving. I am on PaulaDean.com, taking one quick look at her recipe again. Um, you only require one can of whole kernel corn, one can of creamed corn, a cup of sour cream, one stick of melted butter, a package of corn muffin mix, and some cheddar cheese. So if you want to see exactly what I'm using, I got this cream style corn from Walmart. It was a dollar, I think. Um, this whole kernel corn by Good & Gather from Target. This corn muffin mix from Jiffy. Breakstone's butter. Daisy sour cream. And this cheddar cheese by Good & Gather as well. Someone's knocking on the door. Yeah, I didn't have any time to eat, so I'm downing this pizza very quickly while I'm cooking. First things first, we're gonna drain the entire can of whole corn kernel. Next, in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna transfer the whole corn kernel, the cream style corn, the Jiffy corn muffin mix, one cup of sour cream, and lastly, one stick of melted butter. I blended all the ingredients together with my spatula until well incorporated. Now you're gonna transfer the mixture into a greased baking dish. I simply sprayed it with some cooking oil. In addition, I used a nine by 13 baking dish, but in hindsight, should have used something a bit smaller so the casserole comes out thicker. After transferring the mixture into the dish, level it with a spatula. So that was super simple. Now I'm gonna preheat the oven for 350 degrees Fahrenheit and we are going to pop this in and bake it uncovered for 45 minutes. As you can see, I uh, am a typical Asian who stores all of her cookware in the oven. So I just took all this out and here's my corn. Looks pretty dangerous being at the tip of the edge, but um, we are going to preheat the oven. Paula Dean's recipe does instruct you to bake for 40 to 45 minutes or until golden brown. Given I used a pretty big dish, I decided to start with 40 minutes. Only four minutes left, it's looking so good. I'm super, super excited to try this out. Contrary to the recipe, I didn't top the casserole off with too much cheese, as I felt that the outcome will be too heavy. So I sprinkled about a handful of shredded sharp cheddar cheese, then threw the dish back in the oven for 2-3 to three minutes. 
Keep in mind, I still have to drive this dish to my in-laws and reheat the casserole. Hence the reason why I didn't bake it with the cheese longer. So I didn't get a chance to cut a piece to show you guys right after it came out of the oven, but I did take home leftovers to show you the next day. So, what would I have changed about what I made? As I've mentioned before, I should have used a smaller dish. The thickness of my casserole was about 3 quarters of an inch, but would have presented better if it was thicker. To add to that, I found the casserole to be a tad sweet to my liking, due to the creamed corn. If I had known, I would have added some salt or used salted butter rather than unsalted. But all in all, it's a great recipe and can be a good substitution for cornbread. It works with or without cheese, and more importantly, it was super easy. Ideal for a busy host who has a ton of other crap to do. Thanks Paula Dean! And if my video was helpful to you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.